Hi, this is Gil Robles again in Sketchbook Pro 6. I am doing another speed painting demo. Uh, this time, uh, my son Josh has suggested that after I get 200 subscribers that I should uh, go ahead and do a special painting. So I'm doing one of him. And I'm putting him in a little hoodie over here uh, because Joshua is into a lot of gaming. So he likes games like Assassin's Creed and so forth. So I think that he thought this would look cool if he had a portrait done in his hoodie and looked like one of his uh, favorite characters. Um, well, right away, uh, I'm establishing the light and dark patterns, uh, laying down uh, uh, the warm background that you see, and then uh, separating that, or warm middle tone rather, and then separating that with a cool background so that I, I can bring that out more. And uh, just as, like I said, establishing the light and dark patterns, going from the general areas to let, letting that lead me to the particulars or the details. I'm not trying to get to the details very quickly. I'm trying to build these things up um, as a whole rather than trying to find every little nuance or every little uh, uh, detail and placing that first. I'd rather build this up more organic like and, and make it look uh, like everything belongs to each other. And for that reason I'm, I'm trying to trying to really uh, uh, build this thing up not as, as much like a painter but as a sculptor. Uh, there have been reference to that as far as paintings are concerned going back all the way back to Michelangelo who said that the more you approach a, a relief the better a sculptural relief the better your painting will be what I'm trying to do is that like a a, a, a sculptor would uh, shape his clay uh, emphasize things de-emphasize things uh, change things just to build everything up as a whole is why I'm working all over the place just trying to build this thing up as a whole rather than just concentrate on going from the eye to the nose to the mouth and so forth I'm just trying to work all over and uh, make each part relate to the whole the tool I'm mostly using is a synthetic coarse angular brush uh, I like that tool a lot because it, it reminds me of uh, like using a bristle brush like you would in oil painting and that's what I'm the, the type of finish that I'm trying to get here is an oil sketch I'm not trying to uh, do a super realistic rendering of, of uh, all the details and, and trying to make everything all smoothed out I want it to look like a traditional oil painting so I'm using that brush throughout this whole thing. Only thing uh, as I'm maybe changing the brush size is using either the properties all the way at the top of uh, my toolbar on the right, and it's the little uh, little box over the pencils, or over the the pencil on the left of the toolbox, and or else I can use the the that light colored puck on the left to change the size as well. I'm also, uh, if you see, I, I have two layers open right now. I like to, to open a layer like I just did on top uh, and, uh, and, and change the opacity. So it's kind of like glazing like you do in oil painting when you, uh, when you establish everything and then after the paint dries that uh, you're, you're uh, putting lighter coats of paint over it just glazing the color and uh, um, so you're keeping the color underneath at the same time you're adding say if you're if the color underneath is red you're adding a cooler color just to bring that down more or to, to add to it and to, to, to make it look not so warm or so forth it's just uh, I like doing it like I would in oil painting I'm either glazing uh, over over what's underneath or, or just uh, um, painting on top of it putting one value next to another value this is the, the one thing this is a great program I, I like it a lot I enjoy using it 
and it, it helps me um, first of all I mean the, the the cool thing about using these programs is that there's no mess to clean up I, I, I love painting in oils and watercolors um, but when I don't have a lot of time and I just want to sketch this is great to, to be able to sit down in front of my computer and do something like this and uh, um, keep my hand moving and so forth I, I like I, I, I really stress the importance of, of sketching every day and this provides you a chance to say if you 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 know you 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 don't have a lot of time and and you you want to get a quick sketch in this program is great and you can do a lot more than just sketch with this program but I love to use it just for what it says it's a sketchbook uh, sketchbook pro 6 is great for that but uh, any any uh, um, software no matter how good it is it's not going to replace drawing skills it's very important to draw from life to, to take classes to go out there and, and uh, um, learn and uh, because it, it can't do all of that for you no tool can do that whether uh, it's a tool that you use in, in uh, traditional or, or software not unless of course you're doing some kind of photo manipulation but even then you have to have some skills to know to, to, to pass off what you're doing as, as as being something more than just a photo but that's not what I do anyway so I, I know a little about that I, I know more about painting and drawing and striving to be uh, my best at that um, which is why practice is important which is why drawing from life is important and sketching at any time that you can and there's the finished painting I really hope you enjoyed this okay that's it uh, please join me on my blog at artinthebusyworld.blogspot.com thank you